Hello everybody. This is going to be a super quick recording on how to reclaim some of the drive space that got occupied by, as you can see here, 36 gigabytes after the Windows 10 update that I did uh, on the prior video. My machine does have a 120 gigabyte uh, hard drive, so uh, every gigabyte is precious when you get up to these uh, kinds of ridiculous numbers. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I've already started the process here, I brought up this cleanup uh, under Windows and then I went into System Files and this is the big offender, 16.3 gigabytes. I have a few other things selected, there's a pretty big one here for temporary Windows installation files, uh, but really the uh, big one is that 16 gigabyte one, wherever that is. Here it is. So I am going to go ahead and uh, delete those. But as anyone who's familiar with uh, VMware or virtual machines in general with dynamic drives uh, may know, you will no longer. Yep, I do want to do this. Are you sure that you want to do this? Yes. Um, it's like a one way balloon. You can inflate it, but it doesn't automatically shrink smaller. Now there's some things you can do to, to help it along shrinking smaller. And uh, one of them is to execute a command. Ooh, after all this time getting this beautiful um, Ubuntu shell, I'm going to bring up just a normal command shell. Because this next thing that I have to do is um, supposed to be accomplished in a normal old-fashioned command shell. There's a program called sdelete, and I'm not going to run it yet. I'm just going to confirm that I have it on this machine. sdelete is not recognized. Well, let me check my download directory. I might have got this uh, from VMware in the past. File Explorer. And uh, let's see. That would be downloads. Ah, like I thought, S delete. So I will unarchive it here. And that directory will be helpful for me. So now I've got the S delete command inside there. So a CD to where I just copied and now I try the sdelete command again yay it's there this is where I pause the video and come back when uh, this process is done but I'll give you a, a tiny little preview I am going to be typing sdelete hyphen z hyphen c colon but I'm not hitting enter until this is done See you soon. Okay, it uh, just finished, and I'm going to do the sdelete command. Set for one pass, one percent, two percent. Okay, pause again. Okay, the sdelete just finished. And that should be all that's uh, necessary at this point. Now to do the, uh, the next step, the shrinking, it's going to take place uh, over Mac side. So I think I can just X out of all this stuff. Bye bye Ubuntu Bash Shell under Windows. We will be seeing you again. And a uh, shutdown. Let's see, shutdowns I think are a little more sensible, although you do have to recognize the symbol. At least it's not start shutdown. It's Windows power symbol shutdown. A little more sensible. All right. Da, 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 da. I guess I'll just pop over here while we wait and bring up the interface to the main interface to VMware Fusion. That would be this thing here the virtual machine library. We can see it shutting down in that little window. It is indeed done. I'll leave this window open. In fact, I'll show it with bigger icons. 
so that you can see a before and after. Although that doesn't show you the size, does it? This is really the best way to do it. If I had a larger font size, that would be ideal for that display. But uh, now, I believe, let's see, we can just go to settings for this. Probably hard disk, advanced options. Hmm, I will be right back. Okay, I believe the correct instructions are to go to Virtual Machine Settings General. And then there's a Clean Up Virtual Machine button here, reclaimable, 14.9 gigabytes. There we go. Some people do several um, defragging steps under Windows because each time you run it, it consolidates your unused files more and more, uh, increasing your amount of reclaimable. But I don't think we have to uh, go overboard here. A quick uh, 15 gigabytes back is more than sufficient for my purposes. And here we have the after. It just finished up and you can see that this uh, file that was previously about 30 some 32 gigabytes is now 18 gigabytes and uh, now I can uh, go back into here. Uh, I should probably make an image of that. It's nice and efficient but it's going to be changing more again. Uh, so I'm just going to start that up. And when next my video series continues, I will be taking up my uh, daily journaling process, which I do every day in Vim, in such a way that it makes the host operating system uh, of no consequence, so long as I have a basic, competent uh, Unix slash Linux-like shell. Uh, the typical uh, uh, Unix, Linux-like command set, Git, uh, Git, Vim, uh, that sort of stuff, the basics. So thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again soon, and don't forget to subscribe.